Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Today we're going to talk about the difference between level 1 and level 2 control solution. So if you're a diabetic testing your blood sugars, we're going to explain what the two different levels or sometimes three different levels of control solution are for and when you'd want to use those. So the topics covered in this video include the purpose. We'll talk about the purpose of control solution essentially what it is. We'll talk about the difference between the levels and the ranges you find in control solution. Talk about whether it's uh, calibrating the meter, um, when you should use it, and then I'll run through a, a few examples showing you different kinds of uh, control solution available from different manufacturers. So what is the purpose of control solution? Why do we even need it? It verifies that your glucose meter and your test strips are working properly. It ensures that those readings are accurate. Doesn't do us any good to monitor our blood sugar if the readings are not accurate. Basically, the control solution simulates different blood sugar levels to help test your meter to see if it is accurate at low blood sugar levels, if it's accurate at high blood sugar levels. Just basically a simulation to test your meter and your strips to make sure they're working properly. Where do you buy them? It kind of depends on the manufacturer. Uh, sometimes your pharmacy can order it. Pharmacies tend not to keep a lot of control solution in stock. Sometimes it has short dating. So they typically can order it in for you as you need it. Not all, all meters can be ordered at the pharmacy. Uh, many times you can find it online. Some meters, you, you contact the manufacturer directly and they will send you some. You Generally, it says in your owner's manual the best way to obtain control solution. So what is control solution? Basically, it's just a mixture of water, sugar, and other ingredients. There are no blood products contained in this. It's simply a known concentration of sugar. Like I said, it's simulating a certain blood sugar level to test that strip and meter to make sure they're performing properly. Most expire 90 days after you open them. And typically, we're going to give them a gentle swirl prior to each use. Again, this is going to vary by manufacturer, so you want to be certain that you read the instructions on how they recommend uh, using control solution. So what's the difference between the levels? We've already kind of touched on this. It's a different concentration of sugar. It's used to determine the accuracy and precision. We have the different levels, so we can check to make sure it's accurate at low ranges, at high ranges, and some strips even have a middle range that you can test for. Simply going to check to make sure your strips and your meter are accurate in all situations of low blood sugar, high blood sugar, etc. Control solution does not calibrate the meter. Um, you're simply testing to make sure that it's performing properly. Older meters you would calibrate with manual entering a code or they would come with a chip there are still some very good meters that come with these sorts of things. Most meters on the market in the U.S. don't require those, however, yeah, automatic coding. And of course, if it's not within range, you should replace uh, your meter and or test strips. When should you use, when is it recommended that control solution be used? Most manufacturers recommend it the first time you use the system. If you're opening a new vial of test strips, if the readings are questionable, if you're um, getting some funky readings and you're not quite sure if it's you or the meter, um, that might be a time to test use control solution. Uh, if the vials have been exposed to extreme temperatures or humidity, if you left them outside and they froze or they you left them somewhere and they're exposed to extreme temperatures and humidity, Maybe want to test those, make sure they have not been damaged. The meter, if it's been dropped or exposed to moisture or other situations where it may have been damaged, that would also be a situation where you would like to use control solution. Okay, we'll run through a couple examples. This one is the Rely on Premier by Walmart. You see it has level one and level two. If you use that control solution, it should Level one should come in between that range, level two in that range. Now it's important you refer to the range on the test strip bottle. It's gonna be different for each bottle of test strips. So um, that, that's very important and a point of confusion for some folks. You always wanna look at the bottle of test strips that you are 
using the control solution on. Walmart does not sell the control solution in stores. You call the number on your um, meter or on your test strips and they will send it to you. CVS Health, they have a normal and a high range, so two ranges. Again, look at the bottle of test strips you are testing for that range. Um, I believe CVS will send you Control Solution 2. I've not contacted them yet. I will, and we'll do a, a video on how to use the Control Solution in the owner's manual. I believe if you contact them, they will send you some. Uh, True Metrics. True Metrics actually has three levels, as you can see in the background here. One, two, three. That is widely available online, and most pharmacies can order the True Metrics control solution. So here you go. Level one should come in between that range, level two in this range, and level three in this range. So the True Metrics uh, can check three different ranges on the test strips. Well, I thank you for watching. I hope you found this information informative and useful. Some folks uh, benefit from having a backup meter if you're getting some weird readings. There's a lot of uh, inexpensive meters available that you could have on hand as a backup to use in those situations if you're not quite sure if your primary meter is performing properly. So that's something to consider. Go ahead and ask questions in the comments below if you have a meter you would like to uh, if you'd like me to do a video on how to use the control solution i have already completed a few but i plan on doing more let me know if there's a certain meter you'd like me to do that for and subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of videos thank you for watching